Phonon dispersion curve and density of states tutorial. Create a simulation by navigating to the job designer page. Then open the workflow tab and choose the phonon density of states plus dispersion workflow by selecting it in the list. This workflow can be imported from the bank if it is not already listed. Now, let us review the component units making up the phonon calculation workflow. First open the second unit to inspect its contents. Pay particular attention to the size of the grid of special Q points, over which the phonon frequencies are computed, defined by the NQ keywords. Next, try opening the Q2R unit. It is used to calculate the interatomic force constants in real space from the previously computed dynamical matrices. Next, let us inspect also the Matdine grid unit. It produces the phonon frequencies and density of states at a generic wave vector, using the force constants calculated previously. Finally, we take a look at the Matdine path unit. It produces the phonon frequencies, in the form of a dispersion plot over a specified path in reciprocal space, interpolating upon the results of the previous units. Now, we navigate to the Important Settings tab, where we review the options to customize the size of the grid of Q points for phonon frequency calculation, as well as the interpolation grid, or I-grid, for building the dispersion plot over a specified reciprocal path, or I-path. The special symmetry points across the Brillouin zone defining this path, and the number of step points between them, can be defined and entered, one by one. After that, navigate to Compute tab, and set Compute Configuration. Here, we use one node with 16 cores on the OR16Q, since phonon calculations are quite computationally expensive. Then, set the name for the job. Here, we call it, Silicon Phonon Calculation. Next, save the job. It can then be selected and submitted to the Compute Queue, for execution. The status of the calculation will change from pre-submitted to submitted, and then to active. Please wait, until the job has finished running. When the job is finished, open it, to inspect the final results. The phonon density of states, and the phonon dispersion plot over the specified path in reciprocal space, can be found towards the bottom of the results page. These final results are in agreement with the published literature, for the case of crystalline silicon. This completes the present tutorial.